Hello, and thanks for stopping by today to view Put It Forward's Adobe Analytics to Oracle Eloqua Connector. Put It Forward focuses on making it easy for any business user within your organization to access data and connect systems without expensive or potentially slow developer resources. This allows us to securely connect cloud to cloud as well as cloud to on-premise applications if necessary. As we can see from the chart listed in front of us, this allows for any business user using any of the two applications, as well as their business scenarios, to be integrated appropriately for viewing between anyone within your organization. The integration allows for a 360-degree customer view, so that way there's no unnecessary or at least a reduction in time to ensure that the appropriate information is being viewed across your organization. Before we step foot into the Put It Forward web interface, let's take a deeper dive into the applications at play. From within Adobe Analytics, we can create a fundamental understanding of the data objects as well as data types to be connected. Whether it's site content, traffic sources, pages, clicks, or views, or perhaps even reports on these pages, nothing is untouchable as far as connectivity related to put it forward. We can also then begin to understand the information related to as it is within Oracle Eloqua, whether it's campaign canvases, custom data objects, as well as creating your own campaign all of this information can be integrated as is necessary between the two applications themselves. Now let's begin to log in to the Put It Forward web application. From within here, we can create our connector using the plus red sign at the bottom right corner of the page. We can name these things as such as they are related. For instance, we might be able to name it based on the project type or anything related to the connector itself. Typically, just a normal name of the applications does do. We can set it as active, notification based on changes, or persist the logs. From here, we select the amount of rows we want to load each time the connector runs. We can set a schedule for every hour, every day, every month, or custom. Perhaps you're looking for real-time integration? Not a problem. Put it forward certainly has you covered there. Next step is to set the next execution. Once we have filtered through the months, let's go ahead and save the connector itself. Once it is saved, we will reopen the connector and then begin to select the properties related to the applications. Our source application today is Adobe Analytics. We connect to these applications on the API, open authorization, as well as HTTPS access. From within this, we can then select properties related to these, as well as credential users who have access to the information involved. When we begin to select a parent category, we can then move on and then begin to select a child subcategory. Within these child subcategories, it's giving us information based on data objects that we are selecting from the source application to which we will be integrating to our opposing or receiving application. As we begin to move on or select the length of time to which we want these updates to occur, we will then select a potential lookup form. The lookup form allows us to select information based on previous execution or something recurring. As we move into here, we then select the same properties, but for Eloqua this time. We enter in the company name, the login, and the password related to that credential. From within here, we select our parent and as well as child subcategories. These data object types are going to be the information that we want to filter into. Once we have set this information, we can begin the mapping. The Visual Designer allows for ease of use and selecting the information that we want to map. As we can see from within here, we can then begin to click and drag the information as is necessary. Once we have selected that information, we can see the visual designer and the mapping in real time. This shows us exactly where things are, what they're connected to, and how they're going to function. At the end of all of everything, let's say the connector is running, but we want to view reports based on that. We can use this utilizing the data and governance later related to the application itself. We can go by a calendar view or a report view. From within here, typically we would see logs that would allow us to understand exactly what happened or perhaps if something went wrong. Whether it's a data governance types, it also allows us to filter out what information was correct and whether we need to refresh the data back at the home application. That does conclude the visual demonstration. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us or visit www.putitforward.com. Thank you.